Hello, my dear students. Today the class is about uh, oxygen requirement for uh, uh, fermentation. Previously, we discussed something about uh, preparation of media, and uh, we mentioned about carbon sources, nitrogen sources, minerals, etc. Okay. Now today the class is about oxygen requirement for fermentation. Myself, Dr. Shibu from the Department of Biotechnology, Safi Institute of Advanced Study. Let's move to the topic. Oxygen requirement. Okay, what is the role of oxygen? We already know that uh, in an, any aerobic fermentation, oxygen is one of the important criteria which will support the uh, growth, which will support the uh, cell growth. And uh, we don't want to add uh, oxygen directly into the media. Commonly, we are not adding uh, oxygen to the media, but the cells are getting the oxygen when we are uh, shaking the media. And it is extremely important in controlling the growth rate and metabolite production. The media may influence the oxygen availability in number of phase, which include uh, fast metabolism, rheology, and antibiotic. Certain criteria uh, should be uh, followed properly, uh, and uh, this criteria will influence the oxygen availability in the fermentation media. First one is fast metabolism. The culture may become oxygen limited because sufficient oxygen cannot be made available in the fermenter if certain substrates such as rapidly metabolized sugar, which leads to high oxygen demand or available in high concentration so what does mean by fast metabolism is if uh, we are using any uh, uh, simple sugars it may uh, metabolize very quickly or very rapidly due to that the oxygen limitation will be occur so uh, as usual uh, when, uh, when when the substrate it utilized very fast there is a depletion in the oxygen that will affect the oxygen availability in the fermenter that is the first criteria which is mentioned fast metabolism second is rheology so the individual component of the media can influence the viscosity of the final medium so the individual component which is present in the fermentation media which will affect the uh, viscosity of the final medium and its subsequent behavior with respect to aeration and agitation when uh, the, the because of the combination or combustion of the media that will influence the viscosity uh, during aeration and agitation so that the uh, if there is no proper uh, aeration and agitation because of the viscosity so the oxygen depletion will be happen that is the second um, thing it is mentioned the third one is uh, antifoam many of the antifoam that is used will act as surface active agent and it will reduce the oxygen transfer rate the third is antifoam because of the foam generated in the media we are using antifoam to control the foam such foams that is acting as a surface active agent that will reduce the oxygen transfer rate so if there is no oxygen uh, transfer or there is a depletion in oxygen transfer rate the cells cannot able to get a proper oxygen so it leads to death of the cell so we cannot able to get the proper product that is the uh, factors which are all influencing the oxygen availability let's we discuss one by one in detail first one it is mentioned about the fast metabolism so the nutrient factor can alter the oxygen demand of the culture okay so the nutrient factor which is present in the media that uh, that alter the oxygen demand of the culture for example penicillium chrysogenum will utilize glucose more rapidly than lactose or sucrose and it therefore uh, has a higher specific oxygen uptake rate when glucose is the main carbon source so there is an example it is mentioned here when we are uh, using this penicillium chrysogenum um, uh, as a, a microbes to grow it uh, to produce a product it will utilize the glucose more rapidly ultimately glucose is a symbol sugar when compared to lactose or uh, sucrose so if it is utilizing it more rapidly so the higher specific oxygen uptake rate will happen when glucose is used as a main carbon source so we need to go for some other alternate carbon sources if you want to reduce the specific oxygen transfer rate therefore uh, when there is a possibility of oxygen limitation due to fast metabolism it may be overcome by reducing the initial concentration of key substrate in the medium and adding additional uh, quantities of this substrate as is continuous or semi continuous uh, feed during the fermentation so it is uh, mentioned here so if you want to uh, increase uh, the oxygen transfer or if you want to uh, avoid this fast limitation we need to um, fast metabolism sorry fast metabolism may be overcome by reducing the initial concentration of key substrate in the medium so we need to reduce the initial concentration of the key substrate in the medium 
and adding additional quantities of the substrate during the continuous or semi continuous that is one of the possible way uh, to uh, avoid this post metabolism then it can also be overcome by changing the composition of the media uh, incorporation of higher carbohydrates such as lactose or starch and protein which are not very rapidly metabolized and uh, do not uh, support such a large specific oxygen transfer right okay so <clears throat> oxygen uptake rate so it is mentioned there uh, in order to avoid this fast metabolism what we want to do it is we need to use we don't want to use this uh, simple sugars instead we can go for the uh, alternate compounds such as carbohydrate lactose or starch it will take time to utilize it or the cells uh, are taking uh, time to utilize this carbohydrates or, or, or the lactose or starch so we can reduce the fast metabolism so that uh, the oxygen availability in the media is longer and that's what it is mentioned of course if you are thinking about when we are uh, walking or uh, uh, running fast you are we need to take more oxygen if i am running 100 100 meter dash i need record more oxygen after completing the race because my cells require more oxygen but if i am uh, walking slowly i don't want to need uh, that much of oxygen after completing the uh, 100 meters okay so that is the difference that is that's what it is mentioning during the fast metabolism the sugars are rapidly utilized there is a depletion in oxygen okay so if it is slowly metabolized there is not a depletion in the oxygen compared with that of the simple shoot okay that's what it is mentioned about fast metabolism second is rheology so there is a considerable variation in the viscosity of compound that may be included in the fermentation media so uh, certain polymers in the solution particularly starch and other polysaccharides uh, i mean uh, uh, may contribute to rheological behavior of the fermentation process. so it is mentioned because of the uh, uh, combination of the um, uh, combination of the fermentation uh, media there may be a change in the polysaccharide as the polysaccharide is degraded the effect on a rheological property will change allowance may also have been made on polysaccharides during the uh, when the microorganism is utilizing this polysaccharide so the, during the uh, polysaccharide degradation so it will um, create variation in the viscosity that also affect the aeration and agitation of the um, uh, inside the uh, fermenter so that will uh, be uh, taken into an account the third one is antiform <clears throat> so uh, in most microbial process foaming is one of the major problem it may be due to the component in the media or some factors produced by the microorganism though foaming is one of the major problem which uh, during the fermentation so due to the utilization of components in which is present in a fermentation media there is a generation of foams okay so the most common cause of foam is due to the protein in the medium such as corn steep liquor then uh, peanut meal soya meal, soya bean meal etc okay when it is utilized by the microbial cells there is a formation this protein may be utilized and there is a formation of uh, foams this protein may denature at their um, air broth inter interface and form a skin which does not uh, rupture readily so when this foam it is formed at an interface it will not easily uh, rupture okay so that uh, foaming can cause a removal of cells from the medium which will lead to autolysis and further release of microbial cell protein which uh, which will probably increase the stability of the foam okay so a foam I, as i earlier said this foam is one of the major problem uh, during the fermentation so if uncontrollable uh, this uh, then there is a numerous change may be occur either in a physical and biological uh, problem may be created okay so if you are not controlling the uh, foam production it will create some uh, physiological and biological problem inside the uh, fermenter okay so uh, th this include uh, reduction in the work volume of uh, fermenter uh, due to um, oxygen exhausted gas bubble circulation in the system changes in the bubble size lower mass and heat transfer rate invalid process data due to the interference at uh, sensor okay so, and uh, there is an inc uh, incorrect monitoring and control if there is a foam is formed what will happen this foams will go and touch in the electrode which is present here it will uh, give an, a negative or fault uh, false result for example there is a ph changes may be indicated or temperature change may be indicated due to the uh, foam formation so these are all come under the physical uh, parameters then the biological such as um, which will include the deposition of the cells in an upper part of the fermenter if the cell uh, foam is formed there uh, the cells will be deposited in an upper part of the fermenter then the problem of uh, sterile operation 
uh, with the air filter which may be also becoming a wet okay so so if the uh, air filter is wet there may be a uh, there, there is a problem of contamination and there is a uh, it is also danger of microbial infection it is if the foam is formed there may be a chance of infection okay so this is these are all the uh, few problems of uh, this foam uh, which is formed inside the fermenter so to avoid that we are adding certain anti foaming agent okay so if uh, excess foaming is encountered there are a uh, three way of approach uh, approaching to the problem first one is to try and avoid foam formation by using a defined medium or a modification of some of uh, physical parameters such as uh, ph temperature aeration and agitation if you are changing such physical uh, parameters we can avoid the uh, foam formation in the medium second is the foam is unavoidable and uh, anti foam should be used if it is not unavoidable from uh, by the other methods other physical parameters we can use certain chemicals such as anti foams okay so this is one of the standard and common approach and the third one is to use a mechanical uh, foam breaker so the third method is we can use the train mechanical foam breaker to disturb the uh, foam so that we can control the foams okay so next is an ideal anti foam should have a following properties okay so if you if you if cannot if you cannot able to uh, go with any of the methods ultimately if you are going for any anti adding any anti foaming agent we need to follow certain uh, properties of anti foaming agents okay so these are all the properties it should disperse readily and have fast action on an existing foam then should be active at low concentration should be long acting in preventing a new foam formation should not metabolized by the microorganism should not be toxic to the microorganism should be non toxic to human and animals and should be very cheap should not uh, uh, create any handling hazards then should not have effect on oxygen transfer then should be heat sterilizable these are all the uh, good qualities of the anti foam that we want to uh, take into account when we are using any anti foaming agents okay so here it is mentioned about certain list of uh, anti foams we can uh, use it to avoid the foam in the media alcohols esters fatty acids silicones so abin oil castor oil sunflower oil etc okay so these are the examples of anti foams okay okay so that's all for today hope you understand the concept so if you have any queries you can contact me thank you all